Let's get ready to rumble! Been down and out for too long, nigga, I'm too strong, so I'm gon' move on. Swagger home, duh. Diamonds just up. Sakasha trying to pick my brain and judge me like a book. I don't got many likes, but I got a lot of looks. My picture on the news, they trying to label me a crook. They say I do too much. I say I'm off the hook. They ask me where I've been. I say I just came from the hood. Smelling loud off this good. The whole day out in jug. These niggas want to go to war. Man, I wish they would. Oakland like Baghdad in my neck of the woods. Rest peace, my nigga Lil E, man. Yeah. How you doing? You doing all right? I'm good, bro. How you doing? I'm cool, man. So, uh, I want you to let everybody know who you are, uh, where you from, and uh, tell them what you got going on. Uh, my name is Rasheem Jefferson. I'm from Philly. Uh, I'm a shame. I used to be a boxer. I'm good for uh, I'm 27 years, and I'm just growing as a trainer now. I spent my half of my life fighting. Um, I broke my neck. I set out for a little bit, trying to come back. And now I dedicated my life to training. I knew the ins and the outs, and I knew what it takes to be a world champion. So I had your son on the other day. And uh, he talked about how, how much of an influence you are uh, for him. And also, I had another one of your fighters on, um, Dalen. And uh, they speak really highly of you, man. I was like, I got I to gotta, uh, gotta get him on. So um, who else have you trained besides, besides those two? Yeah, I, tra I had trained a lot of people. I, I had Santia, uh, USDA champion at 140. I got Avery Sparrow. Um, his career had a little lump in it. He's coming back now. He fights Avery on ESPN. Make sure y'all tune in. He fighting Abraham Nova. He never see no shortcuts. He's going to get right to it. Um, Abraham Nova is in a tough fight coming back, but he's on board and he's willing to sacrifice whatever it takes to get that win. And that's all I'm in it for. Um, I trained a lot of kids. Um, and I have trained a lot of people. And everybody's not going to be boxing. Everybody's not going to be world champion. But what I'm looking for is winners in life. You know what I'm I want to change people's lives, not careers. I want to change their lives. And that's what I'm doing. Okay. So, I don't know. I, I see like a video with you with Tevin Farmer. Yeah, Kevin Farmer. Uh, me and Kevin Farmer, we we racked up twenty, thirty wins in a row. Um, I would say twenty of the however wins, he was just flawless, man. He was flawless. And we went over Jersey. And it, was, it was people that that. That he put on a stool that shouldn't have been on the stool. You know what I'm saying? He put he put people above, above their pay grade. You know what I'm saying? What happened in Tevin? It, it shows what happened to him. He, he, from Tevin from a fight when I was training solely, uh, and Tevin from a fight when he became Tevin from a the American Idol and people just wanted to be on a bandwagon and had the stage show and had their voices heard. You could see the difference, man. He let that happen. And that's my friend at the end of the day. That's my homie, man. I just want to see him do good. If he can come with what he's done in Boston, I'm cool with that. Um, but it's just so much more that he could have done. But he got to stay around. He got to stay with what got you, man. He, he somehow went away from me. So, now you got a kill on your hands, though, man. Straight, uh, straight from you. And I seen him, I seen him, I seen him fight. 
and I seen him uh, spar. And that boy's special, man. The rent, he, he know how to use his range already, man. His mindset, uh, he like he's like a grown. I know he's a grown man, but I'm saying like a like a grown like like he's 25. Like his mindset is like a 25 year old, and um, he says a lot of that's because of you. Um, what was it like, you know, having a having a son uh, at the age you had him at? It was, it was cool. Uh, it was the excitement of having a son. Uh, it was a big learning thing, and, and after him, I had plenty more. So it was just like a learning thing, and with him, it was, it was just great to have him around me all day, every day. Um, I was making a big, big impact on the boxing team, so it was, it was a pleasure just to see him growing up in that, that impact I was having on the boxing being able to have them around Curtis Stevens, Jadon Coddington, Randy Griffin, Eric Harden, um, all the guys that came up under Jair Raheem, Terrence uh, Cross, and all the guys that was doing big things and, and get to have my son in the fourth time. It was a great thing. And, 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 and think as a kid, they're not grasping off of that, but Man, everything that he's doing now, man, he's learning to come back then. He's like Jerron Hennig. He's been around by his whole life. And what, what he's doing now in the ring, he done seen the gun. Oh, everything yeah. he's doing, he done seen the gun. With his brother, his father, his other brother, Demetrius Hopkins, Anthony Thompson. He's been around killers his whole Philly, Philly is different, man. When it comes to boxing, y'all different. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I, I, I think, in my opinion, that Philly has the best fighters ever. Like, as a collective group of fighters, I think Philly, there's not, it's not even close. To 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 it, nobody is even close to to feeling when it comes to boxing, in my opinion. Philly, I think is the mecca of boxing. Uh, but the thing is, it's hard to stay uh, focused. You know what I'm saying once you become a little bit of something, you know what I'm saying you get content with all the all the attention you get from inside the community. You know what I'm saying? Not knowing that it's way bigger. Than Scheduled a fight three times, and they all got canceled. So 
at the same time I stayed up in him for a month. I just wanted to get all the boxing on my feet. No more boxing for me. So I just stayed away from him. And I one day came to him and I seen Bozeman and he was like, damn, where are you doing that? And I was like, chill. He was like, get your butt back in the kitchen. People could use what you know. And they need you as a train, you'll be an excellent train. And my client was saying, hey, how about train, train? I told you what I had in mind for him. Uh, he was playing football, he was doing all the type of stuff. I didn't want to eliminate the box. So, he was just birthday. He was just 10 years old. I said, what you want? Yeah, you want to give me all my bikes and equipment and let me buy. I was like, that. <laughs> sure, you don't want no bikes, you don't want no sneakers, you don't want nothing. Like, give me all my bikes and let me buy. And he started training. I knew back then that I had to go on my own. And, and, and that's what makes him so special is because like you know a lot of people don't just want to go boxing you know what I mean nobody just want to just jump into it like that and for him to want to jump into it to, to further your legacy that that's special man. That, that's special so give me your top five Philly fighters all time Hijack any club. I don't want the total. Gotta be Bernard Hopkins. Gotta be Jeff Kim. 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 Gotta be
You breaking up a little bit. You got something in your you got something in your background. It, it, it's messing. Say, say that one more time. Anyway, really cool power. We we had office from Top Rank. We had office from the zone. You know what I'm saying? We had we could have got office from We we got office from Lose the battle and all, a lot of local promotions, but that's not really the route that we're trying to see. Um, we sit back, we watch, and we see what's going on with Jerron Anderson. He's been off a million dollars right now. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of like the route that we're going to see. And, and I, I'm not, he was top amateur. I'm not about to uh, sit there and build my son up with all these bums. You see, uh, you see his first fight, he put somebody 2 and over 2 knockout. And, and he made the guy look like he ain't belonging in So And listen, yeah, dude look like a straight it. bum when your son got up in there against him. Sure, for sure. And, and believe it or not, that's how he'll make everybody look. Everybody at one point, too. He's just too big. He got too much heart. He got his friends, and, and he got a little pop. And the amateurs got... Are... I seen, I seen him break everybody down. Everybody. Everybody he fought, he broke them down. Even his losses, he broke them down. I seen, I seen this kid lose a fight where... The kid got three points taken away. Three points for Owen. How can you lose a fight? And the amateurs is the dirty game, man. Like they they That's rob a, the amateurs and the Olympics are the king of just robbing people, dog. Like Roy Jones got robbed, Floyd got robbed, Shakur got robbed. It's like, dude, let's be fair. You know what I'm saying? It's amateur boxing. We running everybody away, bro. Everybody. So, what made you get into boxing? My school had a program where they give you, they give you tokens, they give you gym dudes, and they give you uh, all the equipment you needed to go to Joe Frazier's gym. So, like, it was it was fun. We, when it first started, everybody joined, you know what I'm saying? And um, everybody was riding the bus together, joking, playing around. So it was just like a fun thing. And when everybody started dying out quitting, I picked up a trainer, which is Howard Mosley. And he uh, he started coming to get me every day. He started uh, taking me to the gym. He, Take me to fight, get me in tournaments, and man, I just fell in love with it. And I never turned back. Man, that's that's super dope, man. Um, so growing growing up in Philly, how did you how did you get the mindset to stay focused and to go with boxing? 
I never had that mindset until 2008 when I broke my neck. Uh, and I just seen like all the people that I used to be around when I had everything that I wanted to wear. And then I had money. I had all the fly clothes. I had all the girls. I had everything. And once, once I broke my neck, it was so crowded. The dogs even asked me, like, is this a party or is somebody hurt? I'm thinking, the waiting room, crowding room, it was so crowded. Everybody was coming to see me. I'm seeing the severity of the accident. Seeing if I'd come back to me. I'm saying, they said I wouldn't walk. I'm saying, but stay strong, stay healthy, got up, and I walk. And that showed me, like, people just there for, for, for the glam or the glitz, the glory, or, or what they can get from me. I'm saying, so that changed my whole mindset. So, um, Tell the people where to find you at, man. Tell them how to. You can find me on Instagram at uh, Boxing Rail, B O X I N D R E L L. Facebook at Rashim Jefferson, R E S H I M Jefferson. And that's all I have. Man, I really appreciate you coming on, man. Take your time out to, uh, to talk with me. Uh, man, we got to do this again, man, when we got more time. Definitely will, for sure. All right, my brother. Uh, thank you, Brad. Uh, all right, man. It's all up. All right, yeah. All right. Watch. I can look at this car over here and it'll run.